Hello YouTube, hello Facebook, hello the world overall. My name is Morgan James Does Games and welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Project Hyrax. Now I don't know if this thing has sound or not. Oh. Yes, yes it does. Okay. So Project Hyrax Beyond Time is a <coughs> interactive uh, story by Project Hyrax. <clears throat> you can follow them at Project Hyrax. Pretty self-explanatory. Alright, let's, uh, let's get into this. Enter the Hyrax. <clears throat> In 2173, scientists at Hyrax Laboratory have managed to create a time machine as part of a secret project. The objective is to study the Earth's past accurately, and possibly even manipulate history. Alex is a brilliant scientist who has dedicated his whole life to the, for the project. He is a visionary scientist despite his old age. <clears throat> As Alex and his team of three people were testing the time machine prototype, they were accidentally tossed into another era of the past. Pack where the time zone remains unknown. The Hyrax tracker has managed to detect the last known location of Alex and his team, albeit the time zone where they are currently in cannot be precisely determined. But be at least 50,000 BC. Alex Robin is a passionate scientist whose mind has been in turbulence ever since and his father went missing into an unknown time. So, Robin was determined to use the second prototype and risk himself in order to find his father. The government realized that this was a good opportunity to test out the effectiveness of their prototype. Thus, they decided to send Robin and his co-scientist, John, for the search operation. <clears throat> As a Hyrax physicist and technical expert, you are in charge to guide Robin and into an unknown time zone where nobody knows what type of ancient creatures he might come across, or worse, what happens if he encounters other unknown beings? Robin brought with him the commune, a device that can send and receive signals from the control center at Hyrax Lab beyond time limits and was told to be constantly in touch with the scientist. Robin needs you to constantly guide him and keep his spirit strong. Your decisions will determine which path he will be traveling to, and for each different path, face a different type of danger, some of which may be fatal. He is waiting f now for your command. Holy shit. Alright, let's do this shit. Boop. Whoa, shit. Hello there. Been waiting for this day for so long. We are setting up the time capsule to the 1347B now, which is still in prototype mode, built three years ago by and his team, simultaneously built with the time caps. Allow notification! Attention, this game takes place in real time, so please allow notification. They are required for gameplay. We promise that they will not contain anything ex extraneous. Got it. Cool. Status, currently unknown. <clears throat> they didn't reply or respond through the commune. This is one of the first major missions for Project Hyrax after it was initiated by Mr. Stephen Musk. Well, all the preparation kind of stressed me up today. Hopefully, it will be fruitful in the end, though. Um, I'm going to choose how are you feeling right now. Somewhat mixed, quite nervous, but at the same time quite eager to see my dad. Thinking about this, how the situation there would be, my wild imaginations is causing me to tremble with fear. Arrgh! Maybe I'm overthinking, but I can't wait to see my dad, though. It's been months since that 
capsule and him vanished. Where, where is he staying? What is he eating? How is he surviving? Dear God. I hope that he's safe somewhere out there. Okay. Um. Me being me, I'm just going to try and chill him. <clears throat> Don't worry, I need to calm down. Yes, you're right. I need to keep my feelings in check for this operation. We have to go all out for this. Who knows? Late by a second may lead to grave consequences. No matter what type of ancient wildlife I have to face, no matter what sort of paleo paleotopography I have to go through, I will find him. I hope this tracker is working properly. It will be my biggest aid for the mission. Should be able to help me find those signals. The signals? Sorry, I forgot to inform you. <laughs> yeah. The Hyrax tracker has managed to detect the last known location of my dad's crew based on a chip that was fixed to one of the member's fingers. So, once I have traveled back to the past, the trackers can detect and point out the specific specified location. Good to know. But at least I will know how far it will be from my landing point and I can figure it out from there. Hope I am hoping that they will still linger around somewhere nearby that location. Ooh, what about the time zone? I just want to get through this. Well, it is estimated to be at least 50,000 BC and I can't really predict what sort of creatures I might face in that time zone. And I must make sure to enter the same time zone as my dad. Using the same setting on my time capsule, I might be able to do so. Once I'm in the same time zone as my, my tracker will alert me and beep loudly. I am bringing a gun and a laser blade. I need to be ready in case of danger. Mr. John, my co-scientist, will be following me in. He has always been my strongest support. I have faith in you. I know you will guide me well in this mission. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> I will, don't worry. Thank you. I'm sure we can work this out together. At least, I am happy that the Hyrax has given me their new suit. I feel well protected. It can fit so many things, yet I do not feel heavy. The ventilation and material used are in perfect ratio. Hi, friend. Despite the fact that I am loaded, I can still fit a couple of things. What the hell? Stop it. Fuck. Are, are you done? Are, are you? Okay, cool. Cool. Let's... There is a hollow book here. Sort of a hologram device that generates a, a, a hologram book and documents to be studied. A couple of e-books are saved in it. Some of it might contain some tips for me to understand the ancient world. Earth's History and Extinct Species by Akil Rogan sounds particularly useful. Since I won't be able to access anything online in that world, a good reference would be helpful. Oh, I found this Avery Cube, a miniature device that contains tools that might be handy for camping. Basically a foldable camping toolbox. It has all the guides and materials needed in order to camp in a forest. Pretty sure this is almost useless in our present world, so difficult to find a forest unscathed by human activities. And they said war is about to begin soon between believers and the unfaithful. Can you believe that? A war in a one world government? Anyways, I need to focus on my mission first. The reason why Project Hyrax was initiated was to look into the past to know what went wrong but the past we had in mind was a few hundred years ago to the beginning of the millennium era instead our very own scientists went missing into the ancient past before we could even begin a proper research what matters now is to find them and bring them back my suit and capsule is pretty much loaded now and the toolbox and other devices are placed inside my backpack. 
I'm thinking whether to bring this hollow book along. Might be useful for extra knowledge. Fucking hey, take the hollow book. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, did I tell you that I will be bringing along the Faraday halter? It is a device capable of stopping any components from malfunctioning. Within a radius of about sharing is caring. Later. Thank you for interrupting my... Okay. <clears throat> it is a device capable of stopping any device or gadget that has electrical components from functioning within a radius of, uh, of about 50 to 100 meters. It is a small device about the size of a mouse and has a single button. But anyways, it is only a prototype. Made in our Hyrax lab. Dr. Michael was insistent that I bring him with me for this mission. Because his instinct tells him to. God damn. Dr. Michael's instinct is on point. <clears throat> well, we all know how much of a believer he is, right? Heck, I don't even know why would I need such a device in a world occupied by people. But the more the, the important question is, what actually happened to the crew? And that's what where I have to focus on. All right, I'm gonna share this real quick on Flasher. All right, Project Tyrax. That's what I'm doing, baby. Let's do the shit. Boop. Okay, cool. Fuck. Come on. God damn it. Do I do I have to go through this shit again? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask, what else are you bringing along? <clears throat> I have packed everything that's essential, but need to check on them again, just in case. Flashlight with chlorozinc cells that can a solar compass, adrenaline strips, and those amazing Geno grapes. Geno grapes? <laughs> Genetically modified grapes made by Dr. Lubze. Each one of them contains enough nutrients that can last me for a week, which is more than sufficient. I don't even have to. Okay, thank you. Which is more than sufficient. I don't even have to bother about hunting for food. So, I guess everything is settled. And I have to leave soon. Hopefully, the capsule lands at a safe location. At least, John will be following me. So, I will not be left alone in an unknown place in an unknown time zone. We'll message you the moment the capsule lands. We have the commune device to help us communicate beyond time limits. Keep in touch around the clock. Okay, sweet. So that is the first part of uh, Project Hyrax. So, you know, I'm actually really uh, excited about this. Send your notification. Mobile arcade followed me. Woo! Sweet. Okay. Like pop back already. Like I wonder what the engine is um, that they used for this. Because yeah, that would be freaking awesome. Okay, uh, fast mode. Fast mode is unlocked once you reach one of the possible paths. Cool, groovy, lovely. Um, hit the game. Okay, so uh, yeah. Thank you, Robin is like, holy shit, turning signal strength, station connection, oh, I guess, connected, hello, is this device working, are you there, uh, yes, yes, I'm here, 
Great, that means that this, this device is working. Oh, pardon. The earlier team brought two of them along. How come there are no new... There is no news from them at all. I feel so dizzy. My head is spinning around. Oh gosh, it's so smoky in here. Oh no. Oh shit, something's on fire. Um... Are you... Smoky. There's a fire. Chances are it's a fire. Yes, very smoky indeed. <laughs> and it pains my nose to forcefully inhale the smoky air. I can see some sparks on the control panel. Oh shit. I think the capsule didn't land properly. Quite badly. Now I am in big trouble. How... How am I going to get back? Uh... Don't worry, you can touch it. I don't think so. <laughs> the damage is quite bad, unless my father's here. I can't think of a way to fix it. And it's with me, but I don't really understand how it fully works. Plus, some of the documents are in the other capsule with my father. Well, it looks like I have to go find them first. No point in worrying about this capsule. Wait, I can feel that there is something vibrating under my bottom. The tracker! Damn, this capsule... ...is... ...getting smokier. Um... The tracker beep, which means I am in the right time zone, and it's showing my last, at least, good news. I can't see John through the smoke, wondering why he is not replying to my shouts. I can't wait to tell him. The smoke is getting thicker. I think I better go up first. Calling out to John. No reply. Damn, I am now I'm worried. Oh, the door has been damaged. I can't open it. Great, now I'm stuck so before I can even begin my mission. I need to find a way to open this door first. Um... Oh shit. I don't want... Okay, if I choose... Force it open... Um... I'm gonna choose find something to open it. That's a smart idea, but I'm not sure whether there's... Anything of that sort in this time capsule. I will try. Give me a minute. And then there's a commercial. Okay. Robin is away. Wait, I wonder what happens if I exit and then come back in. Like... So far this game is absolutely amazing. Like seriously. No joke. This game is... 100% amazing. Like, if it takes a full minute, or if it takes a few minutes, then, uh, that's awesome. But if it takes, like, an actual minute, it could be interesting. I'm going to pause it, and then I'll come back when, uh, it, you know, does its thing. I found a small metal rod, probably used as a repair tool, but the door didn't even move an inch. This is bloody difficult. John! John, are you there, man? I can't open it. Oh, fuck. Okay, just kick it. Okay, fine, no other choice. Ouch, my leg hurts badly. Oh shit. Damn door. He's dead. Oh fuck. One, two, three. That's it. A small gap. Now the metal rod comes in handy to pry it open. Ah, fresh air. I can breathe better now. So glad I can finally get out of this capsule and go after the signal. John must be happy to hear the news. I'll go and check. I will go and check. By the way, the signal is about 28 miles away. It is not very far, but it might take some time since I will be walking. Depending on how tough the journey will be, it might take three to four days for me to reach there. 
I'm not even sure whether they are still there. Hopefully, the, no other problem will arise. OMG! No! <laughs> Holy shit. It's John. He is dead. Holy shit. Called it. I've lost my strongest support in the beginning of the mission itself. Oh god, why? Um. Something hard pierced. Looks like a stone. I can't look at it. My tears have flown as fast as my heart is beating. Why it has to be. Why does it have to begin like this? All the hopes I had, all my spirit, is fading away. Gotta do this. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dick. Yes, you are not an option. It is my purpose. Yet his presence made me feel safer. And now I'm left alone. In an unknown time zone. I might come across all kinds of extinct creatures and fight them on my own. I better find a place to sleep for the night. What should I do now? Should I just rest here? Look, uh, for a better place. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for, let's see. It's kind of, I'm gonna go with, stick to the same place. Okay, I'll find a nice spot to rest. Journey early tomorrow morning. John's death still haunts me. I don't think I will be able to sleep peacefully, though. But I can't do much in this. Hi, friend. But I can't do much in this darkness, anyways. I will bury him somewhere nearby, or else some wild animal might come after the body. We'll text you soon. Shit, this is awesome. Uh, I really, really fuck out of this. Alright, so thank you guys so much for uh, <laughs> uh, watching. Um, thank you Project Hyrax for inviting me to do this. This is absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.